Hi kids! Good morning! Once again, this is Kuya Noel and welcome to another edition of our Sunday School. Okay, and it's about God's love for you. Yes, God loves you so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to save us from all our sins. Yes, I have here. This is the good news, but it's a coloring book. It's about life. You know what, kids? Life without God is empty. We may have all the money in this world, but without Jesus in our hearts, we are empty. We are lonely. Same thing with this. I know you guys love to draw, right? What's this? Oh, it's empty. Right? Okay. Jesus puts life in our lives. Okay? It's the only reason that He can give joy and satisfaction in our lives. But then many people believe that there's God, but they don't have Jesus in their hearts. They know about God, but they don't have Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Okay? No relationship. So their lives are like this. Yes, there's a picture here. Okay? They know about God, but they don't have a relationship with the Lord. But then only Jesus can put color in our life, right? Okay, no matter what situation we are right now, if we have Jesus, then He brings joy and happiness. Same thing with this. Oh, ooh, there's color. There's life in Jesus. Oh, did you see that? Jesus! Yes, okay. There's life in Jesus. Kids, are you excited for this story? Aha! Uh -huh. And listen to the story. It's about hmm, three kinds of people and they are in a situation where they have to decide whether to help this guy or not. Listen to this. Love others. What is it like when something happens that you don't expect? Our story is one told by Jesus and describes people doing some unexpected things. Let's listen to the story and we can read it in the Bible in Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37. But, before we begin, let's look for these characters in the story. The Jewish people were the special people of God from the Old Testament before Jesus was born. The temple was the place where the Jewish people worshipped God. It was a very special place for the Jewish people. The people who worked in the temple were supposed to know how to live God's way better than anyone else. Let's listen to the story. One day, an authority on the law stood up to put Jesus to the test. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? What is it written in the law? Jesus replied. How do you understand it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do that, and you will live. But the man wanted to make himself look good. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him. They stripped off his clothes and beat him. Then they 
went away, leaving him almost dead. A priest happened to be going down that same road. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. A Levite also came by. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side too. But a Samaritan came to the place where the man was. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him. He went to him, poured olive oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey. He took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and he gave them to the owner of the inn. Take care of him, he said. When I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you may have. Which of the three do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? The authority on the law replied, the one who felt sorry for him. Jesus told him, go and do as he did. The Samaritan man stopped to help a man in need. It can be easy to love a friend who we like. The Samaritan showed love to someone who would have treated him poorly and was supposed to be his enemy. This is the kind of love Jesus wants us to have for others. Jesus showed this kind of love when he died for people who were not yet friends with God. Jesus' followers were to be like Jesus. They are to be known for their love because they are thankful for what Jesus has done. They have been shown love by Jesus, so they can show love to others. They have been shown mercy by Jesus, so they can show mercy to others. The Bible says that we love because He loves us first. Remember, God loves and cares for everyone. We are to love and care for others, even our enemies. We show Jesus love in words and actions. Okay, you know what case that Jesus is coming back also? And whatever you have done to your neighbors, God will reward you. Always remember to do good things to your neighbor, to your loved ones, to your parents, brothers and sisters, to your classmates, right? And when God comes back, He's going to pay you back a reward that comes from heaven, eternal life. Okay, hope you guys had fun. You have learned something about the Good Samaritan. Thank you and God bless you. Always remember, God loves you. Okay, let me pray for you. Lord, I pray that these children who oh God will come to know you, will have compassion towards the lost, will show mercy, will have every opportunity to tell others about Jesus. Bless them, empower them with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, hope you guys had fun. There's all this fun in Christ. And I hope to see you again next Sunday. Bye-bye-bye.